Happy Sunday, folks, and thanks for joining us on Inside the Valley. I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend so far. Up first this morning, we are talking about the third annual Jaime J. Zapata Fishing Tournament, and we are joined right now by Betty Wells, who is the tournament director, and we have Sarah Gonzalez, who is a 2019 scholarship recipient. So I want to thank you ladies so much for coming in today. Thank you for, Thank having, you for us. having us. So before we get into the actual <laughs> tournament, I want to talk a little bit about the reason behind hosting it. The tournament was started three years ago by the Zapata family. Mm -hmm. Their son was tragically murdered in Mexico in 2011, mm -hmm. and they struggled through a great period of grief, but they wanted to turn that into something positive mm -hmm. and to create a legacy for their son. Mm -hmm. The fishing tournament became the foundation to do that mm -hmm. and to become a revenue generator to pay it forward with scholarships for young people like Sarah. Most definitely. And was uh, fishing uh, specific to uh, Jaime? Was he an it angler was. himself? Yes. He was. It was. He was a camper mm -hmm. and a fisherman, but he loved to be out on the water and it just seemed appropriate that the tournament was a good venue for Definitely, it definitely Never seems fitting. So again, you mentioned this is the third annual, so it has been growing over the last three, three years. Um, kind of tell me a little bit about how that's been to watch it progress uh, in the last three years. It's somewhat like a child. Mm -hmm. You start out in your infancy and then um, your family kind of surrounds it. And our family has been comprised of our committee members, our sponsors, our advertisers and the boats and teams that come to fish this. So it's really a very rewarding program. But the best part of all is putting the funds generated mm -hmm. to good use with mm -hmm. scholarship recipients. Many of them come from families of law enforcement mm -hmm. officers. Some are enrolled in criminal justice programs at UTRGV and South Texas College. Wow. And I have to imagine when this was created um, back uh, three years ago that it must have been really, I guess, easy or uh, uh, the support was there to kind of generate that uh, support from the community, getting the help, getting uh, different sponsors, uh, one, to uh, support the legacy of Jaime Zapata, but also to give back to the community, as you mentioned, um, and the youth and to kind of help them progress and help them with their future. They also wanted to be out on the water of fishing course. <laughs> and competing against each other. Of so it's it's still so a friendly tournament. competition, uh -huh. yeah. It of is. course. Wonderful. So Sarah, tell me a little bit um, about one applying for the scholarship and how that kind of process went, but then um, being recognized and receiving it. Tell me a little bit about how right. that's well, been. first off I was I mean it's an honor to even be considered for a scholarship mm -hmm. like this. Um, through the process, you know, we had to write an essay um, about how our family, well, my father actually works for um, immigration, mm -hmm. so at the detention center in Port Isabel. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I was even considered for the scholarship. Um, through the process, you know, we had to write about um, our backstory and where we come from, and as well as our pursue, like our pursuing the degree um, with criminal justice and how we would go about that. Mm -hmm. I am pursuing a degree in psychology, so. Mm -hmm. Um, with it, I'm hoping to counsel immigration and um, criminal, I mean, and law enforcement mm -hmm. officers and their families um, after any hardships that they've endured. Um, I think that after everything that they've done for us to keep us safe and keep us, you know, happy here in our homes, um, I think it's the least I could do to give back to them. Most so. definitely, yeah, it definitely <laughs> sounds like a great thing and it's a great uh, that you are going into this area of study and you know you're dedicated to it and you kind of know exactly what you want to do which is fantastic so again the scholarship money does help because we all know college is definitely. very very expensive <laughs> definitely. and um, from even the books to the pencils and just all the other material that comes with it so anything a mm -hmm. little bit does help and are you uh, entering a freshman or are you a sophomore? I'm actually a senior I just okay. turned 19 but I will be graduating with my bachelor's degree. Wow by that the is the year, amazing. Yes. Congratulations. And it's all thanks to the Zapata family of course. Wow. Congratulations. That is amazing. 19 year old and you're graduating <laughs> with your bachelor's. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. Now tell us a little bit about the actual tournament. I know people are at home waiting to find out the details so that they can sign up themselves. Absolutely. The tournament will start with late registration and a captain's party on Friday, September 13th at 5 p.m. at Louis' backyard mm -hmm. upstairs. 
Fishing starts the next day at 6.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. And this year, our way station and way dock will be at Louis as well. Wonderful. They have to weigh in between 1 and 3, mm -hmm. and um, then it's time to celebrate with the winners Saturday night at 6.30 for a prime rib and seafood buffet dinner at Louis. Delicious. That mm -hmm. sounds so much fun. So tell me a little bit about the atmosphere. Uh, maybe somebody who is at home, uh, they've heard about this, they thought about entering last year, but they didn't and now they're thinking again kind of what is the atmosphere what is what would you say to convince them to come on out and participate it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. and it's a wonderful cause it is open to the general public anglers of all ages and teams with at least one law enforcement officer mm -hmm. among them receive a $100 discount on the registration fees. Fantastic. So we do get a lot of law enforcement mm -hmm. members and, and a lot of friends seem to seek out a law enforcement oh, officer course. during that time. <laughs> hey, join my team. I have to imagine that it's a great break for them. Uh, we all know that uh, the men and women out there are working hard to keep us safe and to keep us all protected. So this is a nice little break for them to come on out and enjoy the waters, go out for a little friendly competition and to also, you know, maybe get some bragging rights among their friends, of course. So it definitely seems like a great time to be on out there. So who can people go um, or where can people go to register or maybe give a call to get more information or to just go ahead and start the process? They can visit our website at www.alpha. 5195.com. Perfect. Or they can call me at 956 561 1052 or email to fish at alpha 5195.com. And the alpha 5195 mm -hmm. was Jaime's call. Wow. And that's the call that went out on the, regi on the radio the day that he died. Mm -hmm. wow. So that, that's why the badge and the number is. Yes part of the tournament logo of course and uh, just be quickly before we go I want to I want to ask this question because maybe this will uh, be a selling point for others to kind of join in and help um, how many scholarships are you able to award with this money this year we did 12 Wow and it we want to extend that and and have it grow and develop every year because the more young people that we can inspire mm -hmm. by Jaime's story and by helping them to some extent with mm -hmm. our college education, the more successful the foundation itself is. Of course, most definitely, and you want people to continue to participate because then you are able to award more students, and as you mentioned, it is a great thing to, to, to put the support and uh, the funding through education and to help our youth here in the Rio Grande Valley, so it is amazing. Um, have you ever had any uh, scholarship participants participate in the tournament, either before they applied or after? Uh, no, because it's such a, a new program, right. really. But Sarah is going to be volunteering her wonderful. time this year and helping out at late registration and on the day of fishing and at the awards. So some of these students, the recipients, have also been from Laredo, which okay. is where Jaime was stationed before he went on special assignment mm -hmm. to Mexico City. Wow. And it's, it's a spirit of camaraderie, mm -hmm. I mean, which is prevalent among fishermen anyway, mm -hmm. and certainly ab among law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So it's a family environment, even though you're not related yeah. to those people, you be you feel like your family when you're there. Definitely. The Zapata family is a very warm and generous family. That's wonderful. So you definitely want to be a part of it, folks. We uh, have all that information uh, that we've just spoken about. You can go ahead and visit their website. That is alpha5195.com. It's there on your screen. If you want to go ahead and register, sign up, or just get some more information. Also, you can go ahead and give the pho phone number a call on your screen right now. That is to Betty if you want to go ahead and register. Um, I want to thank you ladies so much for coming on today. I really appreciate it. It's the third annual. It's going to be a great success. You're going to help so many students here in the Rio Grande Valley, and then we're going to continue to do that as the years to come. Thank you for letting us share our story. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. All right, folks, well, when we come back, we are talking about the 54th Annual Math Conference. Stick with us.